Hey, welcome back. So now we talk about traits. Okay, so now a trait is just like an interface to an extent, to a very large extent. The only difference is that in interfaces, you can't have a variable in here. If, for example, I say the public uh, var like this is equal to zero, I will get an error for this. Yes, interfaces may not include member variables. I know, I know, I know. So instead, in interfaces, you only have constants. So you say const like this, var is equal to zero. Now, you don't put the dollar sign like that because that is a constant. So refresh and I get no errors. Now, one thing I forgot to mention uh, during the interface video is that uh, interface to access things from the interface, you, you access them in a static way because you can't instantiate an interface. So for example, if I want to echo out this constant here, I will use, uh, I will do this. I'll say database. I'll say echo database dollar sign var like this. So let's come back here and refresh. And you see that there's a zero over there. That's how you access things directly in there. But you can't access these guys because they are, they are not implemented yet. They need to be implemented for them to be accessed. So now when it comes to traits, the only difference with a trait and an interface is that I can actually have um, variables in here while keeping the idea of uh, interfaces, right? So here I will change that to trait. So they pretty much do the same thing. So trait database. Now I cannot implement that anymore because it's no longer an interface but let's see i think implement actually works non-abstract method database read must be must contain the body one nine seven where are we oh sorry my bad the other difference with uh, traits is that you have to implement them here so a trait uh you don't do it like the interface where you don't implement things you actually run the function you you implement the functions here and you don't do it elsewhere no nope. so the only difference with uh, so it's beginning to look more like a class now right because it has these uh, functions uh, normal functions and then normal variables the only difference with a class is just like with a, a an interface a trait uh, can a trait can, you can implement more than, uh, you can extend more than one trait in one uh, one class. That is the advantage of using a trait as opposed to using a class. So let's come back here and let me refresh this one more time. Phone cannot implement database. It is not an interface. Okay. 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 Got it, man. So let's implement a database. Uh, let's Im implement an interface instead. Okay. So what we have here is one trait and one interface, and then we are implementing an interface. So let me add one more interface here. This one is interface, uh, let's just say food, something like this. So I can implement both here like this. Okay. So phone implements food like that. But then, if I want to, cannot implement database. Okay, sorry about that. There's one more class here I had forgotten about, so I will remove that class. Okay, so refresh. Okay, good to go. So what I'm doing here is I have one interface, two interface, and one trait. So I can implement two interfaces here, and then implement whatever methods are in here, and constants but i have a trait here and what i can do is say use trait right here use what trait is it it's database okay something like this so once i say use database then i have access to whatever is inside the trait just like 
implementing or extending a class. So you see there are no errors there. But the advantage of a class is that just like these others, I can create another trait here. Uh, instead of database, maybe this is uh, uh, maybe fruits hmm? or fruit, just like that. So one trait, two trait, one interface, two interface. And then here I can say in, use database, use uh, fruit as well, like that. So refresh and you see there are no errors. So as you can see, this class here is robust because it's got, it, it implements product, it implements food. It also uses the database traits and the fruit traits. So this is like having the power to extend um, functionality from many classes into one, right? So it's like uh, inheritance, but on steroids, right? Because you're inheriting all this stuff from here, from there, from there, from there, and then you're just uh, adding a few extra things here, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. So what your takeaway should be here is that implementations or interfaces and traits are specifically used to enhance the inheritance process uh, from classes. Because classes are limited, you can only inherit one from one class at a time. But with interfaces and um, and traits, you can in, uh, inherit more from more than one. And then the advantage of an a trait is that it's just it acts kind of like a normal class, except you can inherit from more than one of them at a time. The interface acts like a an abstract class to an extent, but you can implement more than one of them. Okay, so hope you have learned something from here, but do not worry much about interfaces and traits because they are very, very rare, but you will find them when you are dealing with a large team. So it's a good idea to uh, acquaint yourself with how they actually work. Okay, so now if I do uh, instantiate this class, phone class, then I'll be able to have access to whatever methods are here, there, and there, just like usual. Okay. All right. So hopefully, hopefully you've learned something and I'll see you in the next tutorial.